Well, it's that time of year hurricane season and in a couple of days we'll be heading into September, which is National Preparedness Month. It centers around being ready for any disaster or emergency that might occur. Nine on your side, Sarah Gray Barr spoke with experts on what we can do ahead of any emergencies. Both ECU Health and the American Red Cross are stressing the importance of being prepared this month. I spoke with experts about how to stay safe in the event of a natural disaster. Michael Brown is a disaster volunteer with the American Red Cross. He says there are three steps to being prepared for any natural disaster. First thing is make a plan. Second thing we want people to do is to make a kit. So I want you to have a kit of things that will help you to keep yourself and your family safe. Or the third thing again is we want you to stay informed. We want you to know where are the places that you can get information. These emergency kits should contain items like water, non-perishable foods, flashlights, batteries, and ways to contact people and get information. Chris Starbuck with the Eastern Healthcare Preparedness Coalition says being safe doesn't have to cost you lots of money. You can buy these materials from the dollar store. You start out early looking uh, months ahead and just build slowly, build what you can, and it doesn't have to be expensive items. Starbuck also says that people should have multiple emergency kits for the home, car, and work. Stephanie Seals with the coalition also says being prepared could cut down on the anxiety of natural disasters. You have a kit ready to go, it makes everything so much easier. No matter what you have, it's better than nothing. For more information on safety and preparation, you can find that on our website at WNCT.com. In Greenville, Sarah Gray Bar, 9 on your side.